Alrighty, how's it going? Um, as many people have probably noticed in Ubuntu 11.04, um, if you're running in the classic interface, you'll see that your indicator applet down here, this also applies for uh, uh, Linux Mint, I mean uh, Linux Mint 11 in this case, but you can see your indicator applet, um, the spacing on the icons is just uh, ridiculous. You can see exactly how much space gets chewed up. Um, you know, you look to the left or right of them. Look at that. That's that's a lot of space. Uh, it's probably not a big deal for people running um, people running larger uh, monitors. Uh, but for me, I'm on a um, a laptop uh, with max resolution is 1024 768. So this actually chews up quite a bit of space down here in your in your uh, your bar. So uh, I did a, a little bit of searching, ran across uh, this bit of code. I don't remember uh, where it was. I'm sorry if you know. Let me let, just remind me where it was, and I'll I'll, I'll put a uh, I'll put a link to the original poster. But uh, to get rid of this, uh, you don't have to install anything. You don't have to change anything major. All you have to do is add one small file. Uh, to your home folder. I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Right down here, this uh, .gtkrc tac 2.0 and this is really all there is in it. Um, right here we see horizontal padding equals zero. Uh, when I originally saw it, it was two. I, I never tried it with two. I'm not sure if there was any change to that or not. I just went ahead and, and set it to zero. Uh, I'll go ahead and leave this code up for a second so you can um, you can copy it, write it down, do whatever you need to. I'll probably go ahead and post it in the um, description also. But that's all there really is to it. And you'll just uh, create an empty file, paste this code into it, and then um, save it as or rename it dot uh, gtkrc tac 2.0 uh, it's going to be a hidden file so the dot is is kind of important um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it uh, go ahead and I'll, I'll show you the difference having that file uh, in there uh, go ahead and remove the indicator applet and let's see uh, there it is. Add it back in, and you can see it's already taken the changes uh, into account. What what I did with that file there is already taken into account. You can see it takes up a lot less space. It actually looks good now. You can see that the spacing of the icons is uh, much much better, and uh, you'll actually reclaim a good bit of your bar just by doing uh, just by doing that. It's that, that simple little mod right there. Um, that's pretty much all I got right now. That's all there is to it. Uh, so I'll go ahead and shut this video off, I guess, and um, hopefully it helps somebody. If, if it does, leave a comment. If it doesn't, leave a comment. Or don't leave a comment. Um, I don't care. I really don't care if you leave a comment or not. Uh, you can see it, it does work. It looks, uh, in my opinion, much better, much cleaner. And uh, that's all there really is to it. And I had, uh, that's a, a workaround, I'm guaranteed. Um, I guarantee you they're not going to be fixing that anytime soon. Uh, the, the indicator applet people do not consider that a bug. Um, even though I think most people who have to put up with it would consider that a bug. But there you go. That's really all there is to it. Y'all take it easy. Later.